Well, good morning and thanks for joining us for your word for the day here today. Have you ever desired something so bad that you feel like you would do anything for it? See, we make jokes about that sometimes. Maybe you've said things like, I would do anything for a burger right now when it was a bit past your lunch hour. Or maybe you'd said something like, I would do anything for a ticket to go to that event. Or maybe after an annoying day dealing with a coworker, you've said something like, I would do anything for them just to leave me alone. But usually when we say this, we don't actually mean anything. We wouldn't go rob in and out at gunpoint for a burger on our lunch break, or go to the ticket office with a knife demanding tickets to that event. We certainly wouldn't kill the annoying coworker when they took our stapler for the third time this week. But today I wanna to tell you a story from Genesis 16 where that statement actually did go a bit too far. So yesterday we heard about the promise and the covenant that God established with Abram and his wife Sarai. See, God had promised that this childless couple would have a son to carry on their family name. But even more than that, God had promised that he would establish a special people and God's chosen nation out of the lineage of Abram and Sarai, and that their descendants would be as numerous as the stars in the sky. But the tension here is that Sarai had been unable to have a child, and that her and her husband were both well past the normal parenting age. And no doubt, they had both had a strong desire to have children. And yet for their whole life, that dream, that thing they wanted so badly had eluded them. And now God promised a son, and maybe that dream that they had dealt with and put away had become fresh again. And see, that desire and maybe even the statements of, I would do anything to have a child, went a bit too far for Sarai one day. We see in Genesis chapter 16 that Sarai gets the idea to have Abram sleep with their servant, Hagar, to try to have a child that way. It works, and Hagar becomes pregnant with a boy, but the plan immediately backfires as Sarai regrets the decision and begins to resent and hate Hagar for what had happened. And this would eventually create a long-term negative dynamic for their family and for the whole storyline here would create trouble. Why? Because Sarai tried to shortcut God's plan. She tried to get what she wanted at whatever cost, whatever extent she had to do. See, God had a timeline. He had established a promise that he was going to fulfill, and in a few chapters, we will see the ultimate fulfillment of it. But it would be on his timeline, not on hers. So today, there may be something that you're deeply longing for, or maybe it's just that you deeply want God to show up in a situation in your life that you're struggling with. If so, remember that God's timing usually doesn't line up with ours, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. Learn to walk in patience and in faith in what God wants you to do because shortcuts never work out well. See, when we learn to trust and walk in faith to God, He shows up and allows us to see His power at work in our life in a completely new way. So I pray that you walk in patience and walk in trust and obedience to what God has promised to do in your life this week. We'll see you next time, Calvary. Have a great day.